are more concerned about the flock than their own life. And that is why there are a lot of things happening today. People can protect the work at the expense of their soul. Amen. May those words have effect in our lives. I don't know if I should still preach or we just close and <laughs> what is that? All right, be seated for a while. We want to appreciate the servants of God here. Clap your hands if you brought it here. Amen. We have Reverend Pia Ikana. He's a father in the land. Yeah. Bless the Lord for him. Clap your hands for him. And also we have the, the state PFN chairman, Bishop Monique Binosa. He's a father in the land, in the state, not the land. God bless you, sir. Amen. I don't know where Bishop Mon gets. Maybe I, I I have to look for a special day to meet him to just lay hands, two hands on my head. Because it's about 70, but the level of energy and youthfulness, it amazes me. It amazes me. This energy is youthfulness in doing the work of God. And there are some of us who are just in our 50s, you're already bent, twisted, and you don't know you need help. Amen. My wife is here too. Amen. Mama is here with us. She's my pastor. I call her my pastor. All right. Reverend Chidi, when you were ministering, I was scared. I was showing my pastors my notes. You were just preaching. <laughs> I mean, I was afraid. I mean, he said something and I showed it to Reverend John. I said, what is this? That is how you know the connection of the spirit. All right, if you have your Bible, 1 Kings 19. 1 Kings 19, 18. 19, 18. First Kings 19, verse 18. Yet! I have left me 7,000 in Israel which have not bowed unto Baal and every mouth which have not kissed him. I have left 7,000 in Israel who have not bowed to Baal and every mouth who have not kissed him. Anointed but hidden. Anointed but hidden. When you look at ministers of God today, pastors, bishops, apostles with massive following, physical structures, big, hundreds of thousands. You look at ministers, powerful, online presence, and you tend to conclude that you have seen great men. You are joking. There are many more anointed than them, but they are hidden. Elijah said, I alone, I alone, and I'm sure Elijah moved with that consciousness of being the only general. Elijah moved with that consciousness of being the greatest of his day, and God was watching him. And that consciousness of of his day also contributed to his attitude to challenges now if not me what can happen because Elijah let me tell you something I have 7,000 that have not bowed their knees they are pure they are anointed but my problem is that was the only time reference was made to them nothing was said about them they are anointed. They are there. They are kept. But how come nobody heard of them? There are many people who have come to this.
this world there are many ministers of God who have come to planet earth who we are called by God who had spent time in God's presence who we are anointed with powerful messages who we are great in God's sight they were men of purity they were men of prayer they were men who practically saw angels they were men that had dealings of the spirit but they left this world without anybody knowing them anointed but hidden and that is why when 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 messages when you see people who have passed through begin to talk to you you better listen no matter how you are rising up as a young man you better listen when you are being <laughs> in your days like Reverend Chidi called it in your days of popularity your days of popularity can, can even hit you as a youth it can hit you as an elderly man you must be careful when they see you with all the noise most of them I see young people coming up younger generation my heart is bleeding Lord help this one not to make mistakes because the man that is pounding yam and disturbing the neighbors should know that the neighbors also eat pounded yam but nobody hears Elijah was alone. Imagine if these 7,000 men had come out. How can you handle 7,001 prophets? They have been hidden was part of the strength of Jezebel. You do understand what I said? The reason today there is reproach in Christianity, there is mockery in the gospel, is that too many generals are still in the barrack. The ministry is a military, and the military of the ministry is manifested in the field. The ministry is military, and the military of the ministry is manifested in the field, not in the barracks. Am I speaking to somebody here? Not in the barracks. There are too many mess up and ridicule in the ministry today we have people in government who are trying to ridicule the ministry because many generals are there but they are few in number how can you handle when there is a when there are three thousand generals in the dosted three thousand generals in kaduna three thousand generals in kano three thousand generals in lagos three thousand generals in abuja three thousand generals in portacol where do you start from how can you confound them that was the fear that pharaoh had pharaoh said these people are increasing in number i need to send voices to see how they can silence them so i am here for somebody i am here on an assignment that you are coming out from here you have been hiding you are coming out from here you have been hiding i see god bringing you out i see god bringing you out take your seat That's why you listen, young men, young women. The angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon in Judges chapter 6, verse 13. And Gideon said, Where are his miracles? Judges 6, 13. Listen to what he said. Where are his miracles that our fathers told us of? He didn't say our parents, our fathers. He didn't say that our parents told us of. He said our fathers. And the angel said, Go in this thy might. What was the might? He was saying to the angel, I may come from a restricted family, but I have relationship with fathers. I, am, I may come from a background that is wasted, but I have been around spiritual fathers. And they have told us about the workings of God. And I'm in my incubation process. Where are the things our fathers told us of? And the angel said, go in this domain. What was the mind? His connection to fathers. His revelation from fathers. What he has heard from fathers. That was the might that the angel said he should go in. The connection he has. The revelation, the impartation that he has received. Am I talking to somebody here? Anointed. 
7,000. Yet one prophet was running for his dear life. History and destiny will never forgive the generation of Israelites who were available and yet God came out of the ark to fight for himself. History will never forgive the Phineas and Ophni generation that they were on ground. The ark of God was taken and brought to, come to you know, face to face in the palace of Dagon. The palace. One of the biggest thing a pastor should never have. A man of God's servant mentioned it just now. Is familiarity with God. Never. I'm seeing pastors. Hot prayers. They are pressing their phone. Hot prayers going on. People are. There are pastors. When last did you cry in the place of prayer? The great man said, Reviver is when. Brother, hot knees meet sister wet eyes. When last you are not broken, nothing moves you. Prayers have been made and you are communicating. Once I sense that, I tell myself this person won't go for a life. Familiarity with God. Many of us have become so familiar. Am I communicating here? God can have Applaud your work, but he must judge your life. God can applaud your work, but he must judge your life. Your work is good. It's, you know, when I saw God praising them in Revelation chapter 2, he was saying, I know your strength. I know you have done well. I know this. He said, but I have something against you. I said, ah, ah. Have you discovered that God never amplifies what he told you to do that you did he only judges what he told you not to do that you did adam named the garden adam observed the excellency of creation adam did a lot of things how come it was just that fruit god amplified samson killed a lot of philistine samson fulfilled the assignment it was not amplified I've told you several times that if I, if I was allowed to write the Bible, I would have edited some things. <laughs> when Abraham took his agar, I won't put that. It doesn't sound nice. When, when, when Samson met Delilah, I won't put that. No. When David, David, When David was sick in his days, they don't give him drugs. They just call a lady. When I mean, he was so sick, the Bible says they called a young damsel. And the king could not move. They agreed, now we know the king is sick. I would have edited all of those facts. But God will leave the reflexes of humanity so that you understand how to escape it when he confronts you. God say, I'm honest. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. If it were not so, he expects so much. When he saw the fig tree afar, when he saw the fig tree afar up, the Bible says he came expecting to find leaves, to find fruit, and he found nothing on the fig tree. The Bible says he said, From today, no man eat ends forth from you. No man eat ends forth from you. If you are fruitless to God, you'll be useless to man. If you are fruitless to God, you'll be useless. That fig tree had no fruits. And Jesus said, from today, no man, since you are not fruitful to me, you'll be useless. You are not fruitful to me, you can't be useful to man. So you must understand that when you are useful to God, then you will be useful to man. Anointed, but hidden. The Lord told me one day I was praying, he said, son, there are so many powerful preachers who are still in obscurity. 
there are so many powerful preachers and no, these are men that have witnessed five six seven eight nine ten dead people within the space of months come back to life but their chairs and pew is still empty they have seen manifestations in their personal evangelism market evangelism house to house evangelism they have seen power but they are still in obscurity but my bible says in matthew 10 verse 26 there is nothing hidden that will not be revealed in mark 4 22 nothing hidden that will not be manifested any power or anything that has hidden you today by the force of grace i see you coming out take your seat number one thing i want to just rush this and then we'll just move in this spirit to go and pray it says seven thousand they were together if you must come out from being hidden despite being anointed you must break off from the click mentality click click seven thousand click ministry has become almost become politics that you must belong to a certain clique there are certain people who only relate to themselves anybody around that no it has become a clique it has become factionary listen to me i ask myself we are we are the seven thousand when elijah was running for his life you watch a wounded soldier die we are where is seven thousand what kind of anointing without humanity what kind of manifestation without affection watching a wounded soldier die seven thousand of you were there and yet jezebel threatened elijah listen to me when a general is under threat it is not he that should speak it's other generals that should speak. when a general is under threat he should be advised to keep quiet let others fire from 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 all cylinders but today generals are dying and when they're trying to scream other generals are shouting them down a general was going through a crisis and the challenge one time and i had somebody here say hey, we understand we understand we, i was trying to play nice to the public Playing, trying to play nice to the media. And I called him. I said, what was that nonsense you just said? Our own is our own. Our own is our own. You don't do that. Remove that thing you put there. You don't speak because you want to say something. You speak because you have something to say. Click. There are places today and denominations minister that can plan how to poison a leader it starts with function there was a great man of god in lagos who i love was a prayer man it was his leadership that organized his assassination as he came from the airport some of the, the protocol who came to receive him some of the boys have infiltrated the protocol the wife was at home waiting for him and they opened fire They opened fire. Great man. I wept. If he treated this protocol, are you saying others were not aware? When protocols now see strange faces among them. The, the latest bishop said, committee can make you commit crime. We have so many people. There are many widows in today. Women that are widows. Pastor, general of Asia that are widows. It was in God who wished the husband to expire early. It was click, 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 clicks, clicks, clicks. That wasted. You will not end like that. Anyone that is planting clicks around you, my God shall dismantle them. That roadblock shall scatter. That roadblock shall break. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today.
today is the same forever when God says yes no man can say no when God lifts you up no man can bring you down God is on your side power is on your side glory is on your side lift your one shot fire lift your right and say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the power of clicks in my assignment the power of clicks the power of clicks in any department in any department in my commission in my commission the power of clicks the power of clicks around my location around my location the power of clicks the power of clicks watching my home watching my home fighting my marriage fighting my marriage walking and you stumble on two pastors when they see you coming they keep quiet don't ask them what are they saying just tell them it shall be revealed <laughs> you walk to pastors and you see what they say you see, they were saying something about you and you just walked in there and they kept quiet don't ask them what are you discussing just tell them it shall be revealed So long your hands are clean. So long you have no other God in secret. So long, listen, you may not be perfect, but be sincere. God does not choose the qualified, the qualifies the chosen. Be sincere. We are all striving. Perfection is an expectation, but none is there yet. It's an expectation. Genesis 17 verse 1. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Matthew 5 48. Be ye perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Luke 6 40. No, the disciple is not greater than his master. Anyone that must be perfect must be as his master. Second Corinthians 7 verse 1. Having these precious promises. Let us lay aside every filthiness of the flesh and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Matthew um, Psalm 37 37. Mark the perfect man. Behold the upright the end of that man shall be peace. We are all struggling into perfection. If there was no spot in your life, you will not be here. The day you get to the zenith of perfection, God will call you home. Enoch got to that point. God just took him. He attained a, a path where there was no spot on. God took him. He said, no, you don't. People like this, so long you still live with mortal men, it's because there is something in your life God is still working on. I wish you are following me today. Click everywhere. Click. You made somebody youth president. He has faction. You put somebody in charge of choir. He has his faction. You put a woman. You put her as the women leader. She already has a faction. And all her faction is to see how the pastor's wife is a target. Somebody's reporting your wife to you as a pastor. You are not ashamed. You are listening. You are listening. A rebellious person is reporting your wife that Nigeria is dirty doesn't mean a pig should tell us how to clean it up. Am I talking to somebody here? Don't stay with the clique. The Lord told me something years ago. He said, don't, don't belong where you don't belong. Don't belong where you don't belong. Sure, those seven thousand. 
Hey. Hey. Can I say this to you? A great man of God, his messages blessed you. His ministration inspired you. The hand of God on him challenged you. His crisis should concern you. Can I repeat that again? His message is a man of God. His message is blessed you. His ministration inspired you. The hand of God upon his life challenged you. His crisis should concern you. You don't delete or stop following a man because he fell. Who has affected your life? Who drew you close to God? Except you are saying your salvation is in contention. Those 7,000 people saw Elijah in pain. He was inspiring them. But there are people that can't come out openly to say somebody bless them. Pride will not allow them. Arrogance. Pride. They stay in their rooms and they are watching ministers of God and come out and criticize them. They stay in their closet, observe the ministers and come out and criticize them. If his life has blessed you, if his ministry has inspired you, his crisis should concern you. His challenge to break you, to make you weep. Look at what David said. He said, shh, shh, shh. Let it not be mentioned in God. Not the value of Ashkelon. Let not the daughters of the Philistines hear it. That all are the mighty fallen and the weapons of war. Please leave that click. That when they sit down, all they discuss are other men of God. Leave them. You can't hang around Saul and expect to reign with David. You can't hang around Saul. Jonathan and David had a covenant. You will be my deputy. But Jonathan refused to call a spade a spade. Your father is against your future. Your future is in David. Your future is not in your father. God has left him. He wanted to play politics. He joined his father's entourage and died in his father's accident. I many of you, there are so much, if your eyes get open to know the people spearheading rebellion in your commission, you will break down. If your eye gets open to know the people spearheading rebellion. If your eyes get, listen, while we are still here, wherever you come from, things will be exposed. As you get back, you will sit on your own. Confession, 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 confessions, confession, confession. The Lord God shall expose. Nothing shall be hidden. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Am I talking to somebody? Our wounded soldiers don't die at the stones thrown at them. They die from the way we advertise their injury. They don't die at the stones which we throw, which we are thrown at them from the world. They die when their brothers advertise their wounds. Our wounded soldiers. Anointed. If you want the Lord to show you fault, you don't want to be hidden anymore. You want to be what Jesus was talking the Beatitude in Matthew 5 14 that a city set upon a hill. Number one, you must break click method. Number two, you must take steps. You must take what? Steps. This seven. 
7,000 men. 